Welcome to the Rusted Garden. It's October and this is my kale and it's being chewed down by the green cabbage looper. So for 2018, next year, I want to talk about how do you plan for pests and disease. And, th and in this case, we're going to be talking about the green cabbage looper. You see that white moth that flies around that lays eggs and you get caterpillars, the green cabbage looper, that chew down your kales and your greens, your cabbages, broccoli, and all those related plants. First of all, this damage from the green cabbage looper. I'm also going to talk about neem oil and ways that we can treat this. So you see the damage. Do you see the green cabbage looper in there? I can actually see at least five. You have one right there. You have another one that's been working on that leaf right up there. You have three more at least. One, two, and three right on that stem. And the first thing you want to do is remove the loopers. See if I can get them all. And the other one I think fell off. Let's see if I can grab it. So that's what comes and devastates your green leafy plants. Cabbage, broccoli, cauliflower, all your kales. I don't see any more on there. But I would bet there's more. So that white moth comes, lays eggs, the eggs hatch, you get the green cabbage looper, and they shear down your plants. The best way to treat for them, I think, is to use neem oil. Let me show you what neem oil is and the recipe I use to make and treat my plants to stop chewing insects. Now fall is a great time to really start planning out how you want to treat pests and disease come next year for 2018. If you want to subscribe to my channel, I'm going to be going over all kinds of different products through the fall and winter so you can kind of think about what you want to do for 2018. I primarily use neem oil. Now, neem oil is not all the same and I want to clarify that. I'm also going to put a link into this video that better describes, you know, how you can be tricked into buying garbage basically. For instance, Garden Safe, good company, neem oil extract is garbage. Why is that? You want to buy neem oil that is 100% cold pressed with azadiractin in it. The azadiractin, that chemical compound in the neem oils, is what actually kills the chewing insects. And for some reason in the U.S., they're allowed to sell products that say neem oil, and they call it extract or different names. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but look in the ingredients, and you're going to see something that says clarified hydrophobic extract. If you see that, clarified hydrophobic extract of neem, they basically removed all the good stuff. Let's see if it'll show up here if I use the magnifying glass. But anytime you see hydrophobic extract, they really removed all the good components out of the neem oil. And yes, neem oil is left, but nothing in there is left that's going to kill the chewing insects, which doesn't really make sense to me. So you have to be aware of what you're buying when you buy neem oil. You want 100% cold pressed neem oil. Now the recipe that I use in a one quart sprayer is a quart of water, one teaspoon of neem oil, and now I've started putting in a couple of drops of peppermint oil. That is not needed. I've been experimenting with that. I sell neem oil on my seed shop at www.therustedgarden.com. You don't have to buy it there, but wherever you buy it, make sure it's 100% cold pressed neem oil with the azadiractin, or you're not getting the components that kill that green cabbage looper I just showed you. One teaspoon of neem oil in here. I put in a couple drops of peppermint oil. Enough soap just so that when you shake it, the oil disperses through the water. Now soap varies, so I can't tell you how much, but start with less, give it a shake, and if it stays dissolved, if the oil doesn't come right to the top, you're fine. And every time you go to spray the plant, just give it a shake. I'll show you how I put it on the plant in a second, but it's pretty straightforward. If you don't want to use neem oil, some other good products are um, anything that has spinosad in it. That's considered organic right now, and it's actually a product that is made from uh, soil microbes that they actually discovered in some rum factory. I don't exactly know how it worked out, but they found um, these uh, microbes produced spinosad. They call it spin... Uh, let me just see. I, I think it's like spinosad A and spinosad D or something like that, but the component that those microbes produce kill chewing insects, so you can use that. You can also use a product called BT. I don't know how you pronounce it exactly, but it's like a Bacillus thuringiensis, and that is also an organic product that you can use, and you spray that onto your uh, greenery, 
it kills chewing insects, it shuts down their gut. So there's a couple options. You have BT, Spinosad, but I prefer the neem oil. Just make sure you get neem oil that is not the hydrophobic extract. And you want to spray uh, the neem oil on your plants in a routine. It's going to vary place to place, but every 7 to 14 days, keep your green leafy plants like broccoli, cabbage, cauliflower, uh, kales, and the related sprayed, and that will stop the damage from the green cabbage looper. Let me show you how I spray this. It's pretty straightforward. So you want to give the bottle a good shake before spraying. Make sure the oil is dispersed through and just spray it down. Now, my hand has the camera or I would make this a, a nice, a finer spray, but it's just a nice fine spray on the undersides of the leaves and the top sides of the leaves. That's a cabbage or a broccoli or a kale, I forget what it was. Spray that down and you can see damage in all of my related plants. And you would just spray it down. Coming over here, stuff is faring a little bit better, but oh, you can see right there, another cabbage looper, huge. Spray it down, shake up the bottle, make sure the oil stays dispersed, and spray the leaves down, undersides too. Cabbages are doing better. And that's all you need to do to take care of the green cabbage looper and chewing insects when you're using neem oil. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe. I'll be going over all different kinds of treatments you can use for diseases and pests in your garden this fall and this spring. Thanks for watching.